I'll quickly get into what the ATO's been doing. At the big end, they've been, Mark Cons has been, he's got this um, uh, e-commerce group. So he's working very strongly with a lot of tax jurisdictions on corporates around e-commerce uh, and around the transfer pricing answers. It's very powerful to do that because you get to understand the global businesses together and you get to get a consistent way of applying the laws uh, against those corporates. Because again, you don't want double taxation for corporates that are trying to do the right thing. Some other things that have happened recently, we've had a task force announced by government. Um, again, it's called the Tax Avoidance Task Force, which sort of, again, starts with the big end of town, uh, but all comes through all the way through to privately owned businesses, high wealth individuals, and, and also some of the aggressive tax planning. Another task force we had was we had Project Wickenby and we had, then we had the Serious Financial Crime Task Force. It's a different one again because that's a cross agency <laughs> task force and that really deals with more of the serious tax abuses and the remit's a lot broader now. It deals with Phoenix, it deals with um, investment and superannuation fraud, identity crime. So you get the, you've got the criminal arms there, you've got the, so from the Federal Police, you've got ASIC, you've got the uh, Austrac for the financial information. Um, and you have the Crimes Commission and you've got the ATO doing because a lot of the, the work in the serious financial crime is predominantly tax uh, revenue fraud. So other things that we have in, like in a multilateral sense, an international sense, we had the multilateral convention and that now enables countries who signed up to that and there's over 90 odd countries that have signed up to that to actually collect debts for each other. So before we couldn't do that. Now, if we have a debt and a particular taxpayer has got assets in another country or even lose this country, we can actually ask the other tax jurisdiction to collect the debts on our behalf. Very powerful. With Panama, I think the message we said, we're probably the only country that went on the front foot with a media release that we're on, we were doing some work on it, that we had already identified 800 Australians. So globally, it was like a bit of a shock, but we'd all, we went out with a media release at the same time. and. And it sort of demonstrated that we were sort of on the, on the front foot with it. You've got to understand there's a lot of informants around the world and because the tax officers around the world share um, and work together closely, that if something does come out somewhere, generally you'll see tax jurisdictions work together to get the information for their own residents. And, and I think Panama is going to be another example of that.